Hello, boys and girls. We're back. More dragon quest. I'm gonna go in this cave and fight whatever this spooky monster is. I'm assuming it's a dragon, right? Or some sort of... Not a dragon, but like a like a sand lizard snake thing of some sort. Speaking of snakes... I'm curious to fight that. But like... You know what? Screw it. I'll do it. A Flythought! That's a good name. That is a good name. A Flython has appeared. Does this count as a dragon? Does dragon slash hurt it? I mean, that other very hairy thing counted as a dragon, so I don't see why not. Oh. That, okay. It looked really big, and then, like, only one of them appeared. I kind of thought that, like, it would deal more than zero damage. <laughs> like, that it would, you know, have more than two health. Let's see. Who those dragon guys? I don't really want to deal with them. I'm sorry. He just he just despawned all the other ones and then he woke up. Ooh, little knights. Very cute. I don't really want to fight them though. Hello, little friend. Am I hold on. Am I able to talk to this little guy down here? No, it looks like I follow him. Oh wait, maybe? No. Okay, he's going somewhere, I think. Where is he going? He has to be around here so- oh wait! No, this is just a regular item. Wing of Bat. I mean, like, I want to follow him and see where he goes, because he's probably going to give me a password, but he's going very slowly. And I have quests to do. Hopefully we'll just run into him later, I guess. Alright, here we go. Now this looks like a big, big open boss arena area. I'm ready for some Slayer stupid of the antics. Was last seen here. Ah. <laughs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. I don't think that's how that works. Is it gonna eat him? I would love if it just ate him out of the sands, but he kind of needs to survive. Is it a big snake? Is it a big snake? Was I right? The, the slayer of the sands is among us. That's just too, that's too easy. That's too easy of a fucking thing. I hate that the phrase "among us" is now completely ruined forever. Just all the time. Oh, I'm, okay. A big scorpion is cool. It's like a snake scorpion. Show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Oh my god. So Vando, he's gonna get a little ironic, so Vando, he's gonna get killed. Oh dear. Looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? I like that Silvando's in charge. Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. I you know, my character is such a stale piece of cardboard, like he barely moves. I'll have Silvando be the party leader, why not? Alright. So, this thing definitely doesn't count as a dragon. I'm not even gonna try and do my dragon ability. Alright, Eric. Metal liquor? No. We want, uh, we want rubble rouser, just for that damage over time. I guess flame slash, okay. Flame slash deals how many? 30, not bad. I'm curious what a regular slash deals. Oh, very cool. Very good ability that definitely works. Seven all damage! Woo. Wow, he's bringing out all the big attacks today. Alright. Unless he starts summoning mobs, I feel like I'm not going to be in danger. Because again, seven damage is bull. Lamau even. Alright, how much is a regular? 19. Okay, so Flame Slash is still better to be using. Especially because it costs like 2 mana, I think. Wow! This guy hits for nothing. It's a little sad. Is he supposed to be strong? Is this supposed to be a fight where, like, I take damage or something? He fucking screams when he attacks. He's such a foppish man. I love him. 
Okay, alright, never mind. Okay, so he is capable of hurting. I think he crit on that, though, so that doesn't count. Like, anybody can hit hard if you just hit a fat crit. That's not fair. You're much higher level than I was for this fight. I'm level, uh... I'm level 16. Is that too high? I'm gonna be real, I only spent, like... 10, 15 minutes running around, like... Beating stuff up with the horse. I think it's less... It's less my level and more my gear. Uh, off camera, I just bought all the gear that was in the shop nearby. Everybody is rocking just whatever the store is selling right now. Okay, okay, well, he, he actually does deal damage. That is kind of an issue, I'm not gonna lie. That's fine. Serena will heal us. I'd prefer if she just... No, if she attacked instead. De-basil. Alright, let's see. Claim Slash. I was 12, I think. Hello, Captain. 12 seems way too low. I don't know how you got here at level 12. You must have been struggling on some of the other fights. Were you getting good gear like I am? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's good gear. It's more just like I'm buying whatever the store is selling, so... Not gonna say no to that. Alright, we're about halfway done. It, it would be cool if somebody got pepped. Whoosh. It would be really cool if I could get another pep hero, so we could just, like, do a pep attack. I don't like that- it oh, Veronica's not even pepped anymore. Great. Not bad. I'm gonna have to- Like, the AI is doing fine using Serena, but I feel like I have to- to take off the- Take off the auto abilities, because she's not healing when I want her to. She only heals if you go, like, less than 50% of your health, which is fine. But not when stuff like that happens. Hey. Not when this guy is capable of doing that. Yeah. I should probably just res her, but like... I was 12 too, I think. I mostly made my gear. I was in a hurry to get this part and struggled a bit in this fight. I would understand, like, if you were making your gear. Did you make the, the, the fur gear? That's the one that you get for the quest in town. The fur gear has, like, insane defense, but not much of anything else. But, like, why do you need anything else when this game has, like, four stats on it? Do I have items to pick you up? No, let me guess. It's in my fucking gear bag, and I didn't bring it into my character's inventory, because... Are you... You can't do that! That's cheating! You can't just do that! Okay, he's gonna... He's gonna do some bullshit. I should pr I'm gonna have to self-heal at this point. Like, Serena's gonna get fucking bodied if I don't heal her. Alright. Bubble Rouser's at least doing something. What is that? Okay. Great. All of our defense is lowered, I see. This guy's whole thing is just status effects. Oh. Oh. I just wasted that healing <laughs> I thought it was gonna go way darker. Like, I thought the, the, red, the red part of it... No, I don't want to use my skills. I thought his health was, was gonna get, like, way darker before he died, but I guess not. That's fine. <sighs> that will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. God, I wish Solana would tie me up. Hello, Crasher. I think I was level 12 to 13. Apparently, I need to go seek out that quest now. Yeah, it's the, um... Fucking Faris. It's the quest in town where the guy asks you to pose, like, give him a scene for a painting. <laughs> the battle is won! The Slayer of the Sands is bested! All in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis! <laughs> is Silvano gonna beat him up or something, or is he just gonna keep being sarcastic? You saw me, man, did you not? You saw the people's prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Are they just gonna lie? Uh, yes, your highness. Yeah, there they go. Of course, your highness. Listen, you don't get to, you don't get to collect your pension if you don't you know agree with whatever the prince says. I declined it because it sounded like work. Dragging my quest across his face. You have my thanks. The quest is not fun. I'm gonna tell you, it's it's not a good one. It's a stupid and annoying quest to do. Valuable contribution. Yeah, you're welcome, Freeze. I still Therese. have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. 
you may rest if we get back and he pulls some other bullshit for not asking the king, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very cranky. What if the rest of the game is just this? Is this the rest of the game? Really, principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? Ooh. You speak as though I have a choice. Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? That is correct, yes. If you would stop <sighs> lying, that would be cool. I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. Oh my god. To Galopolis, men! We Some of these voice actors... Like Faris... Yeah. Silvando, like some of these voice actors are really going hard on these characters. Like they're putting their all into their line delivery and like giving us some good shit. And then some of the other voice actors, like Eric, are extremely bad <laughs> and they're not trying at all. This feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. What if all the kings up to this point have just been pretending? Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. What is Silvando going to do? What anyway, wacky trip I'd better be do. getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. I will say, <laughs> Silvando just being here makes these fights way easier because it's not like his—he's one of those temporary characters where like his health doesn't matter. He doesn't really have a health bar, and I don't have to deal with his mana. Sure, he can't cast any spells, but like, I mean, he was hitting for just as hard as my party was. A yellow eye, interesting. They live in a place called Galopolis. They're probably fine with disappointment. They're putting their vocabulary into, into it while Eric's VA doesn't even wash his ass by the sounds of the effort he puts in. <laughs> what if he literally pushes the prince off a cliff? I'd take that. That would be good story development. But that quest that I did... Um, so basically the quest is to get three characters pepped. You have to get Serena, Eric, and the, the Luminary prep pepped at the same time, and then you fight one of these dragon things, and you have to activate their, like, three-paired pep, and then kill the dragon. And, uh, and I was very disappointed because the pep that you have to use has a really dope cutscene. Essentially, the Luminary and Serena turn Eric into a furry. He becomes a werewolf furry. Uh, and then he gets... And then I thought, like, they'd do a big furry attack, but, but no. Ooh. I didn't know that ghosts were out at nighttime. Anyway, he does like a... I thought he was going to do a big attack, but no, he just gets buffed for two turns. I mean, it's an okay pet because it buffs him so that he can do two turns at once. So he technically gets four turns. Uh, two in a row and then two in a row. But still, it was pretty lame. Why give me like a big fancy cutscene if it's not even going to deal damage? I don't know, sometimes RPGs like this are like, oh, make sure you use your static of status effects, you know, they're really helpful, but then other times it's like, why bother when I can just, you know. And yes, I know I can teleport back, I'm just curious what new stuff there is at nighttime. Oh shit, before we leave, I remember there was like some archaeologist man over here, and he said that only at nighttime do the ruins do a thing, so I'm gonna go see if that's true or not, or if the game was just lying. Also love his walk animation, very cool. I hope he's still here. It would be kind of a bummer if this NPC is just not here at all because it's nighttime. Is he just oh no, he's he's here. Oh. I have a wagon carrying a giant scorpion blah 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 oh, he's just comment That's stupid. Okay. That's dumb. No, not a that attributes. And then... Zoom. There we go. No. No, no, no. Go back. How do I use it, though? Oh my god. This game's menu system is gonna absolutely drive me fucking crazy. Um... How do I... How do I use the zoom ability? Magic? Oh, here we go. I have to go into this menu. I see. Galapagos City. Alright, let's go. Cool. I was the Slayer of the Sands. I got here a little late since I started playing Spider-Man. How are you liking Spider-Man? Is it good? Also, the Slayer was like nothing at all. <laughs> I'm apparently overleveled and overgeared, so he wasn't really an issue. I mean, he he two shot one of my NPCs, but that's because I didn't heal her. Hello, Galopolitans. Faris, your prince, my 
son, our hero, has vanquished the Slayer of the Sands. Is he gonna, is he gonna like, admit it? Is Silvando gonna do some sort of trick? Nah, he's not gonna admit it. This guy's too much of a wiener. The future of our kingdom is surely safe in the hands of one so gallant and chivalrous as he. Now come, heroic conqueror. Address your people. Like, I can see he's under a bridge. So I'm just gonna jump down and do something. Right? But I did not act alone. For it was your love, he your adoration that gave me the strength I saw. He was so close. Yes. Faris was so close to just being like, hey, the literal hero of the ages helped me out. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. That will allow me to continue serving you until my dying death. I see what's going on. Now the real boss fight happens, right? That's why the last one was so easy. Friends, we have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. <laughs> no, he ain't. Yes, yes, we have nothing to fear with the prince on our side. Oh my god. Why would you run closer towards the monster? These people have no concept of protecting themselves. Clearly they have faith in their prince, but this is a little sad. Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. I'm just gonna spill the tea. Straight up Vienna sausage. I really like the design of the Slay of the Sands. It's so extra. It's... It's pretty alright. It's a good design. I wouldn't say it's great. I would say it's good. If you ask me to imagine a scorpion, snake, like sand monster, this is pretty much what I would imagine. You know what he looks like? He looks like uh, he looks like a character in Dota 2, like literally identical. A nice word. A nice word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. It's him. Well, don't stop. The most handsome jester. He, he is he? What is he actually? Is he a jester? Challenges the strong unflinchingly, and and never retreats in the face of adversity. I was not expecting this character development. That's more like it. Now, my little principu, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? To be oh. remembered as a knight of I was hoping he would run away. That would have been such a good punchline. I would have fucking loved if this guy just turned tail and ran. <laughs> He's not gonna win, but like... It's cute that he's trying. Throw the sword, Faris. Oh dear god. Solano's such a fucking cool character. If he could have just killed the Slayer in one hit, why didn't he do it when we were helping him out? Maybe he needed to be really high up and do like a pose. That's fair. Darling, you were wonderful. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? I mean, I'm impressed Faris didn't immediately get like stabbed. Wait, did you? I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? Why does Silvando care so much? Mm -hmm. Why is he so helpful? Not only is he the most handsome Wait, man, he's the most helpful. Friend, where did you become so well-versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? I need to know his backstory. He's by far the most interesting NPC. Mm -hmm. Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. Alright, cool. He is a jester. I was right. This bitch has me. 
Solar's two for two with shit opinions. Uh, what opinions is Solar dropping in here? Yes, father. Oh, because he doesn't like Silvando. It was he who rode terrible, my horse terrible the sun opinions. National, and he who captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. Why is his mom so upset? Paris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you. It was more than any boy could be expected to bear. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? I who must apologize. Ah. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. Look at this man Not babying his child. Again. He's never gonna learn. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Yeah, that's true. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. I don't think he wants to be a knight. Is he going to tell his dad that? <laughs> or does he? I don't know. He kind of acts like he doesn't. Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Oh no. What if he shows up? But I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the Rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. All right, hell yeah, Faris. Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the Rainbow to a traveling merchant. Oh my god. No fucking what? way. What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? What bullshit were you offered by this merchant? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's sand? This motherfucker sold the best shit in the kingdom to throw a party to where they rode a couple horses. Are you serious? This guy's a shithead king. He's terrible. No wonder his son is such a dweeb. This guy's the worst king. He's worse than the other king, and that guy tried to kill us. All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. Gondolia, all right. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. All right, so if this game's naming convention is like, if it maintains itself, Galopolis is like horses, right? Gondolia is just going to be full of gondolas. That's their whole thing. Pardons. I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. All right, I believe you, Prince Faris. I don't think you're stupid enough to to cross it is me. Scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It, it allows one to provoke distant foes into combat, and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Is it a gun? Also I'm waiting for us to get a gun. Just give me a gun. Every RPG is- YES! It's a crossbow, that's basically a gun. Every game is improved by adding a gun or crossbow you of some have sort. Done our kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to be relevant later. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I'm sure there will be other Gollum. <laughs> you fucking <coughs> dickhead. Kindly travel us along soon enough. <laughs> I wonder if, like, we go around and we help all the kingdoms and then they're going to help us take on that one kingdom at the start. That'd be kind of fun. I'm kind of a sucker for cute little stories like that. Okay, so we got to head west. Let's keep going. Sorry, I should clarify, I don't hate Silvando and Veronica, I just don't like the game so much that I forget I like Silvando and Veronica. But see, that's a good opinion, Solar. That's good taste. Damn, Tony, how did you know? Solar's just backpedaling. <laughs> Old-timey gun. Listen, I'm the king of predicting when fun shit is gonna happen in a video game. If I demand that we get a gun, we're gonna get a gun. Oh my god, dude. His horse is so cool. This horse, it's a horse with a beautifully brushed coat. Nay, he says. Can we go in? No, we can't. That's a bummer. I was looking for this juggler, man. Silb's gone, but that doesn't mean we can't still put on one heck of a show. You won't want to miss the next one, I promise you. I, you know, I'm kind of sad that we're leaving this area. I really like this area, you know? 
I really like desert stuff. That's just fun. That's the aesthetic that I enjoy. So it's kind of a bummer that we're going to be leaving. No, Gondolia is to the west, right? And if it's on the shoreline, like we go far enough that we hit water, that would also be cool. I'm a sucker for deserts and then the exact opposite of that, which is just like oceans and like dockside towns, stuff like that. Excuse me. So I would I would be happy for Gondolia to, to include water in some way. We've already gotten rid of like the shit world that I don't like, which is just like mountains. I think mountains are usually pretty boring. Except for Valheim, the Valheim mountains are pretty fun. I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Join my party. Join my party right now. Join my fucking party right now, please. <laughs> please. Hey! You again. What do you want this time? Shh, Eric, shut your goddamn mouth. He's joining the party. How many party members can I have, like, in combat oh, at once? Don't be coy, That's what darling. I want to know. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. Can we just kick Eric out of the party and keep Solando? What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? <laughs> but I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. I didn't even notice he has such big sideburns. You know, my dream has look good, always though. been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives off? How am I supposed to be a clown when Satan is what killing everyone? Say, I have to kill Satan so that I can be a clown. Same thing. That's this man right so now. You see, I Love have it. to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. If I could squeal, I would. I don't think my voice can go high enough for me to do it. Ugh. Mm. Oh. He's so good. POV, you're on a date with Silvando. What are people gonna What are people gonna make Silvando POVs on TikTok? All these vampire and mafia POVs, this those are lame as fuck. Give me Silvando no POVs. Answer, huh? Guess I'm part of the gang now. Yay! So, tell me, what's our next move? Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken We don't even Gondolia. know if the rainbow is like the exact thing we need. Gondolia. What if it just isn't? What if but the I stick is still port here? Town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail. Port by now. town. Yes. That's true. Well, mm, then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry, and the ferry. Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little <laughs> people. Solando hates dwarves, What's confirmed. Your bright idea, then? Probably doesn't like Veronica either, which I is fair. I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more ah, chic, no? Classic JRPG, they give you a vehicle. You, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. Oh my god. He comes with what? a boat, too. You've got your own boat. I fucking love That's boats. That's amazing. You're going up in my estimation by the minute. Veronica has good taste. You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie. That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why, Gondolia, of course! Lucky! I'm ready. So I hope we get to, like... For? The ocean beckons, shipmate! Okay. Westward ho! I really hope that this ship is, like, a permanent fixture. And that it's like a base of operations. I would be really bummed. With Silvando aboard, your merry band is now f uh, up to full five members. Sadly, only four can take part in battles at any one time. You can pick which ones by selecting the lineup from the miscellaneous menu. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out Eric then. Let's see this lineup. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, Eric is probably very good, I'm sure. But Silvando is extremely handsome. Like, it makes sense to me to have my frontline defense with the Luminary, and then we uh, we have our DPS with Silvando, and then we have a Mage DPS and then a Mage Healer, which, by the way, I should also go ahead and go into the miscellaneous section. Um, it's a character builder? 
No? That's not it. Uh, oh, tactics, that's what it is. Wait, wisely. Follow orders. Follow orders. You know what? Fight wisely. Focus on healing. I'll just, I'll just let, if, you know, if I change her to that, I think we should be fine. I'll just control the first two people and let the AI do the rest. Let's see. Sadly, the boat is just a mode of transportation. It's not a base of any kind. Oh, that's a bummer. The horse hailer. Oh, nice. Now I can just, like, just give that a tinkle and a horse will come a-galloping no matter where you happen to be. All right, cool. Convenient. Okay, so we need to head west, which means... Yeah, there we go. Laguna de Gandalia. All right, let's go. Maybe Eric shouldn't have been badly voiced. Eric is only good for stealing, so goodbye. <laughs> no more Eric. How many party members do we get by the end of the game? I would imagine, like... How many do we have? We have a party of five currently, so I would say probably, like... Eight. Eight seems like the number that this game would end at. I'd be kind of disappointed if it was just, like, Silvando's the last one. I'd hope for, like, at least one more to a quest. I don't really want to do it, though, so... Let's go. No, I don't want to talk to you. Let me leave. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm gonna not say how many party members you get, spoilers and all. You get eight. It's seven, isn't it? I, you know... Sometimes, most of the time, I don't like spoilers, and I will usually tell you guys if I don't like spoilers on something. And you guys have been very good about not spoiling something, you know, if I ask. But I will say, if I just straight up guess exactly what's gonna happen, you might as well just tell me. <laughs> if it actually is eight, and I guessed perfectly correctly right off the bat, that, that would be funny. That would make me smile. God, I'm such a slut for the ocean. I'm half Puerto Rican and half Portuguese, both of them island nations, so like, obviously I like the water. This actually looks very similar to, uh, to... I'm not actually, you know, my family isn't from Portugal, mainland Portugal, we're from a place called the Azores, which is, um, right smack dab in the middle of the ocean, uh, and it is, a, a, like, a grouping of islands. And it, it looks just like this, except the rocks there are, um are black instead of this, like, brown color. But it's very rocky, just like this. We should probably save. I don't think we need to rest up. I think we're fine. But saving is definitely an important thing to do here. It's seven, isn't it? Shit, I can't remember. Mana predictions. Tony's got the gift of prophecy. Tony wants to know what fucked up men he will get to experience. <laughs> I'm hoping that we get to experience... I'm hoping we get, like, an old character. Right? Like an old, old little man or something. We've already got like a bunch of archetypes. We have a rogue, we have this like swashbuckler with Silvando. We have our, you know, healer mage, DPS mage. It would stand to reason that maybe like a tank. We haven't seen one of those yet. Some sort of like armored knight, I guess. Maybe like a, like an illusionist or a, su a summoner. That would be something. Let me see. I'm gonna go up this way. This is like a swamp, which is pretty cool. I do like swamps. Swamps are fun. Can I jump across here? I cannot. It would be cool if I could. Oh! There we go. That answers my question of what we could do here. Oh. You know what I would love? I would love an enemy joining the party. I am so big into that. I don't know, I just really like when that kind of thing happens. There we go, cool. This will let us go across the, uh, the way, I'm sure. Dope. Okay, cool. We're probably not gonna get an enemy to join, just because, like... The enemy designs are really outlandish, but it, it would be cool. It would be interesting. Got this. Got this. I got an award for finding a bunch of items, pretty cool. Looking to see if there's maybe like little 
You can't continue this way while mounted. Well, I couldn't even get this way without the mount, so don't know what you're talking about, game. These little islands look like they would have past words on them, like the little spirits, but I guess not. Tony wants to... <laughs> your, your gift of prophecy really is spot on. If the next one is straight up just like a big armored knight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Who knows? Maybe Solar's trying to lead me astray. Yeah, let me think that I know what I'm predicting, but I'm actually completely wrong. Let's go this way. You can't content- okay, fine. Alright, let's just mount. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hi, little man. Time waits for no man, but we have a plan. It may require a caravan. Tickety tick tock why, if it isn't the luminary. I was just indulging in a spot of singing. Helps lift the spirits, don't you know? Allow me to pass on the password I found. The talkle tells Pooh about the password it's found. He can now visit the observatory via, via the altar of the starry skies. Talkity tick, you can use that password I gave you to visit another world from the echo chamber in Tickington. There are more talkles out there willing, whiling away the hours searching for passwords, you know. Be sure to take a moment to talk to them if you come across any. And with that, I'm clocking off and trundle it trundling is a good word. Trundling back to Tickington. It was lovely meeting you, and good luck with the rest of your adventure. Tick tock. Bye, little man. I like the tockles. I think the tockles are cute and fun. They have a simple design that I enjoy. Is this a moo? It's a cow. Okay. What a peculiar cow. It seems our bovine friend knows a thing or two about what to expect weather-wise. It's a cow that can tell you when it's raining. If it's wet out. Let's see. Oh! Is that a... That's a man in a fursuit! <laughs> Fucking crossbow. I wanted to melee attack. That's a man in a fursuit! I was not expecting to find furries out here, but I'm gonna be real, he has to die first. The were tiger goes down first. Let me see what Salando can do. Hot lick. Sobering slap. A short slap that can snap a party member out of confusion, blah blah blah. Burns an enemy with fiery breath. Oh, he has a lot of spells. Each turn to a single ally significantly reduces the ability, agility of a single enemy. Pop a little do. Okay. So he's like a status guy. That's fun. Dear God, I love him. I should have bought gear for him before we left, but I don't think I have any money. Okay. Twenty-eight damage. Wow, that would really matter if like the luminary wasn't our tank. Bang him up. Alter of the Starry Skies goes back to Dragon Quest Nine, my first Dragon Quest game. You get a gayer, sillier clown. Are you serious? <laughs> no, you're just fucking with me. I see. You guys are just fucking around. You could get gear for him in the next town, that's true. That's kind of my plan. I'm just gonna push forward and... and hold on, I should probably get all the way to the top, right? Nah, it, does, it doesn't matter. My plan was to just get to the next town and gear up Silvando probably off-screen off, off screen there. This is going to be a bit of a shorter stream. Uh, you know, I like to stream this game twice a week. And when I do, I like to do one shorter and one longer. This one's going to be a little shorter. Get fucked. Oh! One of those Skythons. Okay. I will say, without Eric, we, we really lost a lot of our AoE damage. But uh, Veronica's making up for it, so that's fine. What pep powers can I do? Temper tantrum. Single enemy with a nah, I don't I don't need to do that. First of all, let me kill you. There we go. And then let me kill you, that should do it. Nah, not just not quite. That's fine though. I'll move you. Alright, Veronica. That's a that's a good spell she's got. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get on the B. I was hoping I could get on the B before anything happened, but I'll take it. No! It duplicates. That's awful. Don't do that. 
Don't summon... I hate when enemies heal, and I hate when enemies summon more enemies. Get fucked. Get absolutely crit. Yeah, bang him. Bang him, Veronica. I would love if just every party member from here on out is just a progressively gayer clown, though. I can, I can fuck with that. More and more jesters and clowns. Just an entire circus by the end. So, you know, my stream chat, essentially. Take this. Over the water. Scope out these islands. You could steal Eric's gear. Uh, you're, now you're thinking. That's the thing, though. Some of the character's gear doesn't transfer over to others. So I'm not sure if that's true. Actually, you know what? I can just go into your inventory. And then... Let's see, this is... Mm, I mean, it's got better defense. Seems like my charm skill needs to be way higher, so instead of that... This absolutely will cannibalize that from you. I'm hoping it actually swapped with Eric. It does not swap with him. That's a bummer. That's a huge bummer, actually. Um, okay. That's fine, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll ring. And then we'll take that from Eric. Cool, Savando should be in a little bit of a better spot now. Let's see. Veronica's fucking good and hard. Wait till you see her in Endgame. Admittedly, I don't use her because she dies too easily. March of the Gal- What? <laughs> Very serious RPG, but every party member is a gay clown. Wait, that's just Wasteland 3. That is true. That is true. Before anybody asks, because I know you're going to, because I brought it up. Well, I didn't bring it up. One of you guys did. Uh, you probably figured out by now, but I'm probably not going to keep streaming uh, Wasteland 3. I don't, I don't know why. I fell off of it, and that's, that's fine. We've got other RPGs to play anyway, so it's not a big deal. Is that really it? I got on this big bumblebee just for like one piece of loot. It's kind of lame. Alright, that's obviously the city I'm supposed to go to. Yeah, Gondolia. Instead of curiosity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here. And I'm just gonna see really quickly if there's like anything else that I can loot. Oh, oh, oh! I was not expecting that one to be there. There was a lot more than I thought. God, they're like right there. Three whole damage, wow. Don't. Don't call for backup. It's, it's really annoying. It's an annoying thing to do. One. Two. Oh, she's pet. I might actually be able to do a pep attack that's worth a damn. Mid heal on Silvando. Do I have literally any AoE? I don't think I do. Oh, here we go. Ba bam. It deals like no damage, but it still counts. Nice. Okay, cool. You know what's interesting is that none of the NPCs make noises like. Uh, recipe book for iron armor? That's probably useful. None of the NPCs really make noises when you win, except for Silvando, who lets out some sort of, like, yelp. He, he does, like, a little ha-ha sound, which is kind of strange. I don't know why only he does. I mean, I do know. It's because he's incredibly extra, but still. Let's see. Mini metal. Those are, like, collectibles. I don't... I still don't know what they do, though. You guys probably told me last stream, but I don't remember because it's probably not that important. Oh, why why give me the ability to jump? Well, like, I get stopping me if I'm the main character, but, like, I'm on the mount. I'm designed to be down there. Now there's no invisible wall. That's stupid. That's silly. I don't like that. That's a stupid thing. Alright. Already I'm, I'm excited to go into this town. The outside of it looks really cool. Alright, show me a harbor town. I love harbor towns. Okay. I'll take an empty hallway. But only because I know a harbor town is on the other side. Here's what we'll do. We'll get into this town. Maybe do a little bit of stuff here, and then we will uh we will call the stream there. 
Oh, that's cute. That's good. It looks like that one place where Anakin and um, Padme went. You know, where she's wearing that really tight shirt with her boobs pushed up. And she's like, Anakin, we can't have sex, I'm a senator. But like, hey, you know, don't look at me, Anakin. Place. I'm a senator, we can't have so sex. Stop down. thinking about having place. sex with me, Anakin. <laughs> now get in the sexy gondola. Get in the fucking gondola, Anakin. <laughs> Virgin weirdo. Ships full of treasure, you name it. God damn it, Eric. And this is where you're keeping your ship, Silvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. Are we gonna steal a ship? Did he not actually own it? Oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. He doesn't own the ship, does he? All right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one there's a rotten egg. I'm ready. Show me my cute ship. You can trade mini medals to someone later on to get good gear. Oh, all right, okay. And then Anakin is like, "I am the sin." It would be so funny if the ship was really shit. Yes, that would be funny. I, the expectation for me is either one of two things: we're gonna steal a ship, which would be fun, but that doesn't really seem Silvando's style. That seems more of like an Eric thing to do. Uh, or it's gonna be complete dog shit. One, one of those. What if it's just like one of these really tiny gondolas? It's just one of those. That would be kind of funny. Shit, I completely forgot where we were supposed to go. Um, he said... Okay, yeah. I was right. Southwest, because that's where the docks are. <laughs> Can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. That's stupid. It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. Is this going to be the thing? We just right. go to a town and there's like a competition. So and then we do it and win and then we get to leave. Is, over, huh? is this the whole game? See, is the only choice. I am sorry, but Signor Universo is molto, molto importante event oh for God. people of Gondolia. You guys didn't tell me this was just a mini game Universo, collection. You say. Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Is there anyone Silvano cannot seduce? Signor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. Mm -hmm. La competizione is the reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Well, luckily we have Silvando in the party, who I'm sure is the only man currently on Erdia who could fill me as deep as the sea. So they have to let us in. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. I, can't, I mean, I do. Whatever silly contest they're having, but I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. She's so small. Seriously, we're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking Boo. for the rainbow. Boo, right, Eric. Serena? Boo, Eric. You're a buzzkill. Lame. Well. Don't strong arm Serena. Leave her alone. She has no personality. There you go. I'm so sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself, and, well, we can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so... <laughs> I don't believe this. Why didn't the Luminary go with him? Am I stuck with Eric now? I just took all of his We're gear off. We're kind of in a hurry here, and we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente, the person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. His <laughs> villa is in the well northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. The northeast Moto part of Gondolia. All right. You heard the man. All right, let's go, Eric. Am I really okay? Thank God. I was gonna say if I was just stuck with Eric. Temporarily. Hey, that one wasn't as well timed. Don't 
Don't go getting all high and mighty, Capra. Uh, that was beast. <laughs> Boo, Wendy testifying. Boo. God. Alright, so northeast. Well, I don't think I'm far enough, am I? Oh, yeah. I'm literally right here. Yoink. Oh, come on! This game's so stingy with its fucking invisible walls. Come on! Uh. Alright, I gotta get down this. No. Uh. How do I get down? <laughs> Let's see. Um, fuck it, I'm taking the long way around. Don't give me a multi-tiered area if I can't jump on it. That just seems stupid. Quest down there. That's not, oh. Um, here? No. Oh, no, I don't want to click it again. Not that way. I think at the armor shop you can get an outfit for Serena. Oh, that's right. There's another there's another mechanic I haven't really fiddled with. It's the outfit system. Holy shit, this man's hair. This guy has to be like half a werewolf. Okay, well, we're not getting in that way. Let's go let's go talk to Homestever over here. It's going to give us a hint. Hello. What do you think of the food? Blah blah blah. Boy, you never tell me what food he likes. Is that the dose so you easy to find? Yeah, no, I know, I know that. I see it. No fun exploration for you, Tony. That's reserved for better video games. <laughs> to the bar, senor. Alright. An outfit for Pooh Butt by doing horse races. I never actually did any of the horse race stuff. I should probably do that. There's so many things I need to be doing. Alright, so I need to go to the bar then. That means the inn, right? So that'd be like right here. Yeah, there we go. Either way, I should probably heal myself. And uh, bank. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm going to be ending the stream in a few minutes. But before we go, I'm going to hit up the armor shop because I want to see what these costumes are. All right. So you said come over this way. And there is a costume... Okay, hold on. You can get an outfit for Serena at Galopolis. You can get something for Veronica here, too. I think the armor shop, you can get an outfit for Serena. Okay. So it's not... Okay, so Crash says it's for Veronica here, though. So... Gold platter. Let's see, iron helmet. Interesting. Well, there's no costumes there. Is it a quest? Is that what it is? Because I'm not, I'm not gearing up to do a quest. What if we, uh, what if we hit up that item shop that's like way over this way? Unless I just completely missed it in that item shop. I probably did. Because all of that just looked like standard armor to me. Nothing jumped out and said. Oh, equipment that changes appearance has little sparkles on it. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was going to be classified as, like, a completely different thing. I, di I didn't... I didn't get that it was just going to be the little pink sparkles. Okay, that's reasonable. Uh... Alright, so for her, that's the cat hat. So, obviously I'm going to put that on her. Would you like to equip it? Yes, I would. Let's see what she looks like. Equipment. Uh... Oh, outfits available. The kitty cat. You can't wear this outfit because there are parts that you've never... Oh, the cat suit. Shit. Okay. Um, it's okay, though. I wouldn't have guessed either. Goofy as toady moment. You can buy the cat hat at the gon gondolia shop, and then there are two merchants that you can buy the rest of the costumes in a gondolia on the west side. Okay. So... That's probably gonna be this merchant over here, then, that I was running to previously. I'm on a quest now. We're gonna we're gonna fucking like the quest to save Erdia is not important right now. The quest to get this cat outfit is definitively more important. Please let me in. Okay. Are you a merchant? Which one of you is the merchant I'm looking for? Oh, this is just a bakery. It's below us, I see. Stupid dumb. 
Just let me let me take the stairs down. And try again. Here we go. All right, cool. So you should have what I'm looking for, right? No, you don't. Interesting. They are unmarked, but there are two merchants you have to take turns talking to haggle the price of the cat suit down on the southwest. Oh, okay, they're unmarked. I see. We're doing this. We're, we're, we're getting this done. So, I would imagine it's this guy? Yeah? No? Borrego? No? Buy the best cakes in Gondolia? No. Ah, you want a beautiful cat suit, see? I have the most beautiful cat suits in all of Gondolia. El Eldora, I would sell you one for- Oh, God. No. That's so much money. Fucking 12,000 gold? I only have 2,000 gold. Alright. He may is a shame, but maybe you come back again, eh? Okay, so you said I have to haggle. You said there's two merchants to haggle. Today, I have this little girl in the shop, but she only tries the adult shoes. Poor little thing. All children want to be grown up, see? No? Okay, so it's not you. Alright. On the southwest, on the lower layer. Okay. So that would be down here, then. I see. You see this tall man? This one standing over here? He's the great Silvando, see? Yes. See, si, naturalmente, he's the only one who have the glamour to be the owner of that ship. Okay. What about you? Perhaps you think Signor Universo is silly contest for the men with muscles for brains. No, no, no. It's actually the molto importante part of the history of Gondolia. Allora, Gondolia is the busy port, see? Is gathering place for the young men for centuries. And Signor Universo is a, is a humble attempt to keep this tradition alive. No, not you. I should really give more specific directions. In the center part of town. Okay. <laughs> this is that. That's the center and the southwest are not the same thing, Crash. But you are helping, and that's really the only important thing that I care about. Okay, so it is two unmarked merchants in the center of town on the lower level. I'm quite literally in the center on the lower level, so it has to be here. Pretty cat suit. Okay. One cat suit, 10,000 gold coins. No. Uh, okay, so now that I've talked to him, do I go back to the other- You said I have to haggle, so does, does that mean I go back to this guy? Right, and then... Ah, my brother, he offered the same katsu for 10,000 gold coins. Ah, he always does this to me. But he no beats me this time. Bene, I sell for- Oh, uh, no, that's- Nope, that is way too much. I want to go talk to the big muscle guy, I bet he's gonna do it. I mean, a 2,000 discount is, is pretty good. Okay. My brother, he offered you... Okay. Let's see. 9,000? No. Okay. Now we go back, and we'll just go back and forth until eventually it's free. That's my plan. But thank you, Crash. I appreciate it. I appreciate you giving me help. Uh, 8,000? No, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. I need it to be lower and lower. I want this fucking cat suit. I'm gonna be pissed if I don't have enough gold for it in the very end. Not enough money. He lowered it to 4,000. See, this tall brother up here, he's the stingy one. 2,000. Alright. I don't think they're gonna give it to me lower than two, but, like, we'll see. 1,000 gold coins only for you. I know go lower than this. No. Okay. Will he go lower than a thousand? Will this other brother go lower? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry, I can go no lower than two. Alright, yep. Looks like I'm buying from the musclehead, brother. Thousand gold? I'll take that. Okay. It's worth it. Okay. Now we can equip her with the cat suit. Evasion chance, apply for set. Nice. Oh, she's so cute, though! Look at how cute she is! She's so small! I hope I can equip this at any time, even if I get rid of the uh, get rid of the thing. She's so small and cute! This was a good purchase. I'm glad we did the haggling. She's just a furry now, but, like, 
That's good. Veronica hates Mondays. You can equip it at any time. Oh, thank God. We did it, boys. We got her the fucking cat suit. She's not actively in the party now. Oh, you know what would be funny is if she was wearing it over here. She fucking is! She's in public! Oh, hi, Poobutt. Hi, Veronica. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating. I tried to buy some new shoes, but all the ones I liked were far too big. And all the children's ones are ridiculous. What's wrong with these stupid people? Oh, look at her. She's just in her little fursuit in public. It isn't even Anthrocon. That's fun. That's funny. All right. I straight up, I appreciate the help in helping me get this cat suit. That was very sweet of you guys to help me. But I hope you guys had a good time. Like I said, it's it's a shorter stream, only about an hour today. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow for Randomized Oblivion if you want to see that. And I'll see you on Thursday for more of this, if that's what you're here for. Uh, if I don't see you guys, then have a good rest of your night. And uh, the streaming schedule's a little weird this week. I don't have time to do streaming because I have a fuck ton of work to do. Um, but, you know, next week we'll be back to more regular schedule. See you guys later. Bye-bye.